genome rearrangements and phylogeny reconstruction in Ursa neopestis. Via Perge Computer Science Fig 11 next.jpg Genome rearrangements have played an important role in the evolution of Yersinia pestis from its progenitor Yersinia pseudotuberculosis. Traditional phylogenetic trees for Y pestis based on sequence comparison have short internal branches and low bootstrap supports as only a small number of nucleotide substitutions have occurred. On the other hand, even a small number of genome rearrangements may resolve topological ambiguities in a phylogenetic tree. We reconstructed phylogenetic trees based on genome rearrangements using several popular approaches such as maximum likelihood for gene order and the Bayesian model of genome rearrangements by inversions. We also reconciled phylogenetic trees for each of the three CRISPR loci to obtain an integrated scenario of the CRISPR cassette evolution. Analysis of contradictions between the obtained evolutionary trees yielded numerous parallel inversions and gain loss events. Our data indicate that an integrated analysis of sequence based and inversion based trees enhances the resolution of phylogenetic reconstruction. In contrast, reconstructions of strain relationships based on solely CRISPR loci may not be reliable, as the history is obscured by large deletions obliterating the order of spacer gains. Similarly, numerous parallel gene losses preclude reconstruction of phylogeny based on gene content. Add DAGs, currently, Bioengineering, Medicine by Alexandros G. Sfakianakis. On Red Amiel website. 58 meters. The modern spectrum of biopsy proven renal disease in Chinese diabetic patients, a retrospective descriptive study via Perge Computer Science. Background renal biopsies performed in diabetic patients are increasing and becoming more complex. Comprehensive data on modern spectrum of biopsy proven renal disease in Chinese diabetic patients are lacking. Methods in a nationwide renal biopsy survey including 71,151 native biopsies from 2004 to 2014. Diabetic patients were identified according to the clinical diagnosis from referral records. The clinical data were extracted from referral records and pathological reports. Results a total of 1,604 diabetic patients, including 61 patients with T1DM, were analyzed in this study. The median age is 51.39 plus minus 11.37 years. Male patients accounted for 58% of the population. We found that only 44.7% of diabetic patients had the isolated pathological diagnosis of diabetic nephropathy, DN, while 49.1% had non-diabetic renal disease, NDRD, alone, and 6.2% had NDRD superimposed on DN. Nephrotic syndrome, N equals 824. 51.4% was the most common clinical indication for renal biopsy. Among 887 patients with NDRD, membranous nephropathy, N equals 357, was the leading diagnosis, followed by eye nephropathy, N equals 179. Hypertensive renal disease, N equals 32, tubuloin interstitial nephropathy, N equals 27 and acute tubular necrosis, N equals 16, accounted for 3.5%, 2.9%, 1.7% of the NDRD cases respectively. Nearly a half, 49.2%, of patients with T1DM had NDRD. Discussion over 55% diabetic patients with kidney disease were diagnosed as non-diabetic renal disease, among which MN and IGN were the most common two pathological types. Add DAGs, currently, Bioengineering, Medicine by Alexandros G. Sfakianakis.